Hey everybody, it's Tony the Blacksmithing Gamer, and here we do everything from blacksmithing to 3D printing to bring the things inside the video games into the real world. This week, we are making something a little different from a little, little game from Devolver Digital called Carry On, namely the biocontainment unit for the Carry On that it breaks out of at the beginning of the game. Let's get started, I'll show you how we made it. So, step one was uh, figuring out how the uh, hologram worked. Uh, we kind of got that figured out. We're going to use a jewel case that I cut up. I'm probably going to try that again just to uh, get the size of the jewel case for proper. Um, next is making the base. So, um, I've always had trouble with uh, 3D printing things for something for to a certain size, um, mostly because the software I'm using to design, um, the measurements are very obscure, so you know, one is never one centimeter or one inch for the actual 3D printer. Um, if anybody has a solution to this, um, let me know. I don't have one at the moment. Uh, either way, I'm going to start 3D printing basically just a little template just to size the uh, glass that I have here. Once I have that established, um, I'm going to do the cutout for the phone. Uh, that's going to be the basically the light for the for the um, carrion inside uh, the glass. And then once that's all done, I could 3D print the top and paint it all up and show you guys what it looks like. So let's get to sizing. Alright, so printing my first round looks a little small. So I'll probably maybe double, triple, maybe even quadruple it next. Um, maybe just double it just to see. I'll show you how it looks. So, take this, looks like it's a little small. Alright, so it looks like uh, the print failed. The base printed okay, but then it looks like it got uh, kicked off of the 3D print bed. And I found it over here. So it was basically off the bed 
it attempted to print the rest, obviously unsuccessfully. Ooh, that's a mess. That's what you call spaghetti. Um, yeah, let's give it another shot. Hopefully it's, uh, well, hopefully the next one prints okay. Looks like the next piece printed successfully. So, um, just to update everybody because, uh, well, I want to explain. I printed the base. It did have a little bit of a misprint, as you can see here. So, instead of reprinting the whole thing, wasting a whole bunch of filament, I just kind of sliced it in the model. And uh, basically, I'm going to put this guy on top of this and uh, glue it on. So it's going to do the same thing. I'll provide the model for you if you want to print it all whole. Uh, maybe I'll even provide the model if you want to print it in half. Um, but yeah, just so you, you're seeing, I'm gluing it together, but it is one piece. So um, depends how you want to do it. So um, let's glue it and print the top piece. So it looks like I'm having some lifting issues on my CR10. Uh, the top came off it looks like. So yeah, I'm going to try to fix that up after, but uh, looks like i got to take a look at my CR10 to see what's, see what's happening with that. Alright, so I uh, made a design, it's a uh, pretty simple um, disc. Now what this is, in the container it sits perfectly at an angle like that. So I'm going to take this template and I'm going to cut it out on my jewel case. So um, here goes nothing. We got the uh, jewel case all cut down to shape. It, uh, I still got a little bit of uh, stuff to pick off from the melting of it pretty much when I was grinding. I'm just going to uh, finish putting, is polishing it up a little bit, cleaning it up, and then we'll uh, try to assemble everything in paint. So I tried to cut out my own um, disc, I'll say in the middle for the reflective part for the hologram. Um, I used a X-Acto blade, kind of worked, as you can see it looks awful, like this one's sort of bent, this one's mostly straight, I just kind of kept on running it uh, on the same line, definitely mucked that up a bit, uh, so I had a better idea, instead of doing it with a blade, um, I chose to 3D print a template, and uh, that fits quite nicely on the inside there. With that 3D printed, I traced it and I made my own, um, I used a grinder this time on this guy, uh, or a sander I should say. Um, so yeah, I basically did this. It fits in there quite well. And um, yeah, now I'm going to finish painting everything and away I go.
quick things about the uh, carry-on container here. Obviously, that's just a vase. And um, you may or may not be, I can't tell in the viewfinder, if you could actually see the hologram from the carry-on. It really stands out in darker lighting. Uh, obviously, I have really good lighting for video right now, but uh, not so much for the hologram. I'll post the uh, video for that I used for the carry-on animation that I put together. It's pulled straight out of the game, so. If, uh, obviously, if you want to make your own, feel free to let us know in the comments down below. But uh, all I used was a CD jewel case for the actual reflective surface for the hologram. Uh, I used a template for that so that uh, it was actually a, good, a like, really nice disc. I tried to freehand it, didn't work out so good. Um, it's, uh, you know, in theory you could really put anything you want in there, it's just a cap of the you know, vase and a base. Um, you could charge your phone on this guy as well if you wanted to, so, uh, but let me know what you think of this. If you like this sort of thing, uh, let me know in the comments down there below. If you want to see something else from any other games, let me below. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button down there below, or if you want to follow me on any of these social media websites, you can get daily updates on the projects I'm working on. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see me play through Carry On, check out every Wednesday. I'm posting the Let's Play video through uh, one of the games I'm playing through, which right now is Carry On. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony, the Blacksmith and Gamer, where every week we're making things from the games we love.